I'm here to celebrate one of the most memorable players I've ever coached, A.J. Sly. A.J. Sly was a part of my first freshman class in 2008. A.J. started throughout his four years. Every year we debated where to put him. Too small for linebacker, too slow for D-back, too slow for running back, too little for fullback, too little for this, not fast enough for that. The one thing we forgot to measure was his heart. It was not until his senior year when we moved into middle linebacker where AJ thrived. This was a position where he excelled, and this is where he led one of the most improbable runs through the 2011 season. AJ was a relentless leader and football player. AJ was the leader of our defense, while Austin Greeby was the leader of our offense. And in typical AJ fashion, he led the defense that was probably too small, too slow, and not good enough. But he still led us to unbelievable heights. The defense throughout the course of the season started to take his personality. Relentless, tough, nasty. Never say die and would fight to you all the way to the end. AJ was a winner and on the cl in the classroom and in the field. He carried a 4.0 GPA while taking honors in AP classes. AJ was a member of the National Honor Society and captain of our 2011 football team. He led us to a district title, a regional title, and uh, his expectations were high and the players followed. The last time AJ played on this field was November 2011 against Brook Point in the regional championship game. Um, it was one of those memorable games I've ever been a part of. Earlier in the season, Brook Point had beat us 38 to three and the game was not even that close. And here we had a second chance at him in the regional championship game. And all week, AJ just kept saying, Coach, we got him. Coach, we got him. And he had to keep reassuring me because I wasn't so sure we had him. That night, we won a regional title. It was one of the most memorable experiences of my life. One of the most prized possessions that I have today is a picture, picture of me, AJ, and Austin holding that regional championship trophy on this field. It was a night I'll never forget. AJ lived his life. He never took a rip off, never took a play off. Nothing was ever wasted. He worked hard every day, gave 100%, led by example, never asked someone to do something for himself that he would not do. AJ was unselfish, wanted two things. He wanted everyone on the team to give the same effort he gave and wanted to win. He held himself accountable, he held her team accountable. I cannot think of a better person to name this field after. One more time, I'm gonna list his accomplishments. Over 4.0 GPA in honors and AP classes. National Honor Society, Captain, All District First Team, All Region First Team, All Area First Team, District Champion, Region Champion. AJ was a winner on the field and off the field and in the classroom. He was a role model for all of us to follow. He was and still is an inspiration for all of us. Do the right thing. Work hard, stick, stick, to your no nose, stick your nose to grindstone, and you'll be rewarded. Tonight, AJ lives forever. With the dedication of our field to AJ, he will always be a part of North Stafford High School. His life and his fight will never be forgotten. Tonight, his legacy lives for tonight forever. Tonight, we are Sly Strong. Thank, Thank you. you. Next, I have the proud, proud privilege of introducing Austin Greeby. Thank you all for coming out here to support the Sly family and the North Stafford community. Um, the last time I was on this field was back in 2011, like Coach Mangano said. We had just beat Brooklyn Point in the game, 
and uh, we were all walking off. And AJ just said to all the seniors that we should run across the field one more time. And uh, that's some of those memorable memories I have with AJ, and I'll treasure that forever. I cannot think of a better person who we could name this stadium after. AJ represented that everything that each player out here should try to imitate. He played with tenacity, he played with intelligence, and most importantly, he played with his heart. I know a lot of the players could get frustrated with AJ because he set the bar so high, and Coach Magano expects that out of everyone. AJ's uh, legacy should not just um, sorry, should not just be referred to on the football field, but also off the field in the classroom and in the community. Everyone should try to imitate his fight in everything they do. Thank you for uh, once again for coming out to support and always be slide strong. Next coming up, next coming up is AJ's little brother and now my little brother, Joey Slot. Hi everyone, uh, thanks for coming out. Like Austin said, uh, it's great to see all the support, especially for my brother. Um, <laughs> there's no one in this world I was more proud of than my brother. Uh, the short little 5'9 kid uh, took on any, anything that he could at Strong. Um, any adversity uh, going from like that Brook Point game, we, we were smaller than them, we were slower than them. Uh, they literally had us on every uh, measure that they could. They were supposed to beat us, and I mean, we came up on top, and it was because of the uh, the things set by AJ throughout that year. Uh, coming in, Mangano needed a change to the program in North Stafford, and AJ came in and said, we're gonna ramp this up, and we're gonna have one tens, we're gonna run the weight room like I want to, and he changed the whole atmosphere of what North Stafford was. Um, we, we competed most of the time, but when North Stafford with AJ coming in, uh, you know we were gonna give him a fight, and Phoebus knew it, Burke Point knew it, and for years to come, everyone's gonna hear North Stafford, and they're gonna shiver, because they know we're gonna come with a fight. Um, AJ took that same mentality, especially into, with his fight with cancer, uh, down with leukemia, uh, again and again, getting knocked back down. But he kept fighting, kept swinging, and um, that's, that's lessons we should, we should all learn. We should all see his fight, and when adversity comes and punches you in the mouth, you gotta take it and keep swinging. Um, but seeing this stadium dedicated to my brother is huge. Uh, I don't want this to be another gravesite. I don't want to see people get down when you see my brother's name up there. Uh, rejoice. Uh, be able to know that you got to see him play football here, got to be in the community with him. Um, I'm never going to get the times that I was being able to be his brother, be his teammate. Um, and every day I think about him, miss him. But there's, like Austin said, there's no one better to dedicate this feel to. Um, and with Mangano's accomplishments, AJ just didn't stop at 2011. Our 2012 season should be dedicated to AJ. We had the same mentality, same rules, same measurements going into it. In 2013, we had the same rules, same measurements. So um, AJ sent a pinnacle for North Stafford to reach for and I hope years to come that you'll reach it and see if you can get above that bar. So I'd like to say thank you again for coming out and uh, always be slash strong. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce the number one principal for the best high school in Virginia, Mr. Nichols. We are here tonight to dedicate our stadium to an individual like no other. He has rallied a team, a school, a community. While still a student in our building, he was a role model for character, academics, sportsmanship, and friendship. Upon his graduation, 
he became a larger-than-life icon who inspired others through his unwavering faith, dog determination, and wicked humor. Now he is a legend who continues to touch our lives every day. He has changed us all, and we have been lucky to know him. Knowing AJ, he would laugh and quote Lou Gehrig by saying, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. No, AJ, this time I would have to stop and correct you by saying, no, we are the lucky ones. We were given a gift for which we will always be thankful for. Today and forevermore, we will be sly strong in North Stafford and in Stafford County. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn your attention to our scoreboard, I present to you the A.J. Sly Memorial Stadium. At this time, David Sly would like to address our community. I'd like to thank the men and women, the moms and dads, the coaches, the students, and alumni of not only North Stafford, but of all Stafford and beyond. Thank you, Riverbend, also. We want to thank you for your outpouring of love and support for AJ during his tremendous battle with this horrible disease called cancer. It is because of your support that we've created the Sly Strong Six Foundation, a foundation to provide academic scholarships, to promote cancer awareness, and give back to Stafford County. My family and I are so humbled by this honor. This field will forever hold a special place in our hearts. On behalf of Laura, Joey, and the extended Sly family, we want to thank you so very, very much. And with that said, my heart is full, and I am extremely AJ Sly Height. And now let's the game begin.